Hi there, how are we all doing? It's George here, George Gray at Grayline Drum Accessories. Now, just want to take a few minutes of your time just to show you the prototype of the PL series, professional level drumstick bag. I say prototype because this one is purely for my use. This was the guinea pig and I've not quite finished it yet. Should be finished it today or tomorrow. Uh, you can see it's not finished. That side, I've still got the, the webbing and the zip to stitch up to the side and along to meet up with the other part of the zip which is in place. It's a bit too substantial and I've had some problems with it, hence the reason it's a prototype. But let's just highlight some main features here which are, are going to be on the PL series. Drumstick flutes. I've yet to see them in a drumstick bag or a drumstick holder. I don't believe in just bunging things into an envelope or a, or a pocket. So the PL series will have enough for three pairs. Six, six flutes for drumsticks. You put them in anyway. As you can see, I'm a Regal Tip fan. So let's just take a 5A out. There you go. There's your drumstick flute. Dead simple, dead easy. And that way, if you are in the habit of mixing and matching your sticks when you're playing, if you drop one or you break a stick, you're not scurrying about trying to pick one up like that. You put the ones you need there. I think it's dead simple. Um, the tartan material you see, that's the Dress Mackenzie tartan. No particular reason why I picked that, I just like the tartan. On the other side, I haven't got the stick flutes. Deep pockets. You can have music. There's my music from a recent uh, project I did in Shetland. Manuscript, again with some sticks. The inside of it is all made from canvas. The outside, which I'll show you in a second, is coated with vinyl and it's padded. So that's going to be pretty substantial. This is what's caused the problem. I've made it too substantial. I've broken quite a few needles in the sewing machine constructing this one. The zip, again, I want high quality, decent zips on it. Like I say, this one here, that's still good. Connected to that, stitched up, and then we'll be good to go. So, i also just like to highlight that. I don't know if you can see that. It focuses. Grayling drum accessories, keeping drummers rolling. That's going to be my motto. And it's a slight hint of where I've come from. Keeping drummers rolling. It's got a transport hint there as well, because that's where the grey line name come from. I'll maybe tell you about that in a later video. Anyway, that green web you see there houses the rim clip. You connect that spring loaded clip to your tom lug. There's another one there. Hope you can see that. Spring loaded. That's going to be a feature on the PL series. I may include it in the entry level, I'm not quite sure. Another feature which I don't have on this is actually hooks for metal brushes. I play metal brushes. What I'm going to do is include a bit of material there with a hook so that these, so when you're playing them, rather than just put them on the floor or anywhere else, there will be a hook and that way they're hanging. It was a hell of a lot cheaper than putting my metal magnets there to house metal brushes. You may not use metal brushes, but that's what's going in. So let's close it, effectively, and there you have it. It's going to be quite substantial, the PL series. I don't do things by half. So it's quite substantial, and the outside, as you see, is vinyl. With the grey line badge, they'll all have that grey line badge. And grey line being my father's old trading name with his Boston Coach Company, and that's a grey line going through it. The web in there, a bit untidy in this one. I've all tidied that up a bit. But this is just one kind of colour code that I was going for green and grey, which is my father's old trading colours, hence the reason. This is a prototype. A little bit kind of sentimental to me. To me. The spine web, that's not complete, but it will have, everyone will have a strong web on the spine. So there you have it. Vinyl on the outside. The bulk of it is going to be canvas on the inside, heavy duty canvas. So there you have it, it's just a short video just to show you where I'm going, what my intentions are. Um, hopefully this week coming up, start the 4th of November, I'll have quite a lot of production complete. 
I just go inside here, you can see vinyls, canvas, thread, plastic dip, that will seal the webbing because it does fray at the end there. You can see that one there. That's a green webbing. Got a different colours of webbing obviously, different colours of bags available, black, blue, red, um, a kind of stone colour off white and green as well. So there's more webbing in the corner. That pile there is going to be padded with musical accessory cases. Hopefully they'll be completed this week. Tartans. Let me just show you that. That there is all hung sign tartan. Quite nice, quite unique. The other one is as featured in that drum cage down there. And that is the Dress Mackenzie tartan. Very nice tartan. So the tartan feature is going to be on all of my cases. That is something I want to try and push home with. And this old sewing machine there, a lot of junk line. This pile here. Line the top of my printer, very untidy. Are going to be the entry level bags. When I say entry level, they're still going to be quite substantial. They're padded. They'll have a pad in them. Vinyl on the outside, or the bulk of them will be vinyl, and on the inside will be tartan with the canvas. So there you go. Just a little insight to where I'm going, what I'm doing, and how I'm getting on. It's been a long, hard process because I am doing this on as a sideline. I have got a full-time job, but in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, I'll get the hit the ground running and get some of these out in the marketplace and see what happens. See how I get on. See the feedback I get. I have got two customers lined up. They've been waiting very, very patiently. So, Neil McGregor and Nicky McMeekin, you will be informed when these bad boys are finished. Anyway, have a good weekend. And take it easy. All the best. George Gray, Grey Line Drum Accessories.